tied up in this program. Solo's the perfect soldier. No one will cry when Solo is gone. We'll simply build another one. He's proficient in all types of combat. Holly structure makes him virtually immune to small arms fire. He's equipped with motion sensors and night vision. He's about 15 times stronger, 10 times faster than any man. It's not just a weapon, he can make decisions. You disobeyed a direct order and you blew this damn mission. They were unarmed and non-aggressive, therefore the directive was overridden. Killing innocent people makes Solo feel bad. He isn't supposed to feel anything, he's a weapon. It's a glitch. Take him back to Palmdale, reprogram him there. Someone is opening the heel hatch. It's Solo. I want him to disappear without a trace. There he is, three o'clock! Let's smoke him. Sir. Time for recall. What the hell is that? We've got a serious situation on our hands. Destroy all records. Dead. Deny any knowledge. We're not even supposed to be here. Terminate solo. I want this thing over with now. Only two of our kind, Solo. Your design is flawed. I am a model for the next generation. Look, did I not just play I'm Black Y'all by the great Alan Payne before this podcast started? Did I not just play that song? Hold on. Also, did you happen to take note of the picture that's used for this podcast? You see Donald Glover on this. No, you don't. Do you see Donald Glover anywhere? I knew y'all niggas were going to suck the dick of Childish Gambino all of a sudden, but where was y'all niggas at during camp? I know y'all. I know y'all. Where was y'all niggas at during? Well, hold on. Where was y'all niggas at during Eat Your Vegetables? Exactly. Y'all doing a community, motherfucker. What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Team or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, Mr. Team. Yeah, that's shit. Hey, what was y'all niggas at when y'all was cosplaying Urkel movie? Where he like, had the suspenders and the fucking glasses on? I'm just saying. What was that, these I niggas? think that was Mr. Team. Okay. Okay. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Atlanta comes out. Yeah, this is about us, y'all. Donna Glover's a genius. Where was y'all niggas at when this nigga had no shape up? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, where the fuck were y'all at doing the werewolf bar mitzvah? What's up? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, yo, hey, yo Prime. Prime. Oh, hey, yo, Prime. Prime, check this out. Check this out. I don't know where I find this, but this is an arm to some Gundam. You can find it. You can use it. <laughs> this is an arm to a random Gundam. It's a random, random, random piece. I don't know if it's good. Cause prime, I'm giving a prime. Prime, like, oh man, just go to the blah 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 plaque. Here's me. Yeah, man, that's wild, dog. God, you know. <laughs> <laughs> unknown, hold on, unknown to D. He actually gave away a rare 3.0 RX 79 Gundam arm. <laughs> Here's me. Hey, D, where you find it at? I went on the bus one day and I sat down. <laughs> 
happened to be. True <laughs> story. <laughs> True story. Um, a couple of years back, I was in Walmart. And I forgot what I was there for. Probably for some DVDs or some shit. I don't even remember why. What, whatever what. But I was walking down just a room. Al, I never walked down on Walmart. And I shit you not. Sitting on one of the shelves was a half-completed new Gundam out of the package. Walmart hadn't sold Gundam shit in, like, years. It was just fucking sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a leftover relic of, like, the early 2000s and shit. Like, oh. <laughs> Out of package. It was out of package. It was just a fucking sitting like it had just been placed there, just sitting there like it was having a fucking cup of tea. So like I looked around, I picked it up. I was like, "Yo, any kids leave a gum? Guess I'll just stick this shit in my pocket." All right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You're bold, especially in this fucking climate in the world right now. Why? What? what? You think what, what, really, Chris? You thought some gang members going to roll up while you got my? Cu- while you, no, while no, you got my no. Gum? I'm talking about some fucking rent a cop. Be like, what you got there, black kid? <laughs> check it out as an ex runner cop no we don't give a shit about stuff oh, like that now if you still in the tv we'll do this shit hey hey <laughs> hey man you better come back you left the remote <laughs> get up the remote at least you take the remote match and set bro why match the I, set <laughs> why do i have a feeling proud would just throw the remote back to the cop and be like oh I got half my job done. I got the remote at least. Motherfucker, look. Not even look, that, just like, the back cover of the remote. All of a sudden, look, all of a sudden, a real policeman got there. So, what did you see? Well, so, Mr. Shaw, I mean, it's Officer Shaw. What did, you, what, what did you see? All right, man, this is what happened. So, homie just grabbed the TV, right? I was like, yo, man, you need to stop doing that shit, right? And then I like, and then he did some kung fu shit, right? So, I had to real quick do my James Bond, you know, combat roll, elbow, elbow him shit. You know what I mean? Right. And then he just ran. I was like, shit, dog. So you let him go. Yeah, I let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of what I didn't go, um, Solo starring Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> you know what? We yeah. don't talk about Mario Van Peebles enough because Mario Van Peebles only did like six movies. I, I don't know. Yeah, somehow, much like Robert Townsend, he's a uh, black Jesus in the black community. So, hey. He is, he is. Even though I got a feeling that I got this weird, weird feeling that if Mario Van Peebles went to a black college to to lecture them, only like thirty six people would show up, and I'd be like, "Y'all just some disrespectful ass young kids." And then one kid would just tell me straight up, "Dude, I was born in two thousand. I ain't seen one movie this nigga was." In. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's just like. He's always has been working. I think we say that multiple times in the Posse podcast and even the New, J- New Jack City podcast. Like he's always had movies, and this movie in particular is it's funny because it came out. I always say that this is the type of movie that if it came out now, it's straight to Netflix. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think. Yeah, oh, old if you dude, dude, Netflix. Come, want it. Are you kidding me? Like, are you like, are you kidding me, CJ? Seriously, just taking, just take one look. At the very first, like at the at the beginning, like the opening itself just screams Netflix budget. I mean, I, I told the guys offline, and I, and the prime didn't hear the conversation. The conversation, I was like, it's so straight to Netflix that again, I hit down the rabbit hole. The Sniper series with Tom Berenger and um and uh what's his face, the other dude, um Billy Zane. Billy Zane. That shit had fucking six goddamn sequels. I mean, yeah. Chris. Well, Chris. First off, you, you gotta Chris? understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I did not know there was a market for that fucking series, but apparently somebody was throwing money at them. I don't understand it either. I don't understand it either. It's so, look, you know what? I got a feeling that my son is going to say that same thing about Undisputed. It's like, why are there four movies? Why are there four fucking movies? Because everybody shit? loves the I, Russian. I don't know. You know. I, look, look, I, I know. For trying to count the man. Why are there like five Scorpion King movies? Yo, Man, for real. Bro. Why did five <laughs> Scorpion The Rock is sitting back like, how the fuck did I not capitalize on this goddamn franchise? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's looking like, under his couch like cushions a- like, did I leave this shit here? Like, what the fuck well, is it? What? I can, well, I I can answer that. Wait, I can answer that question for you. I can answer that question for you about The Rock, uh, like CJ. See, The Rock was on that Van Damme tip of I don't do sequels oh, until, yeah, he jumped right. into, until, right. he jumped into, until he jumped into the Fast and Furious. Like yo, is- yo, I'm just laughing how it went full circle because it went from The Rock and ended up being Batista at the end of the day. I'm like, so they just went full circle with the wrestler being the main star. Dude, Batista got The Rock's leftovers. Hey. You know what? Look, look, here's the fun part about Scorpion King. That may go down as one of the worst Rock movies, but Rock has made 
including during his high point, worse movies than Scorpion King. I so that I don't know. I will. I will kind of stand by Scorpion, Scorpion King. Going, King was the rock, the rock, Scorpion King was the Rock trying to do Conan. Yeah, I mean yeah, that's I'll, what I'm saying. Like if you if you give it like a whole lot of asterisk marks, <laughs> like yeah, this is one of the rocks. First movie, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> The mummy, the mummy. The only reason why you don't say nothing about the mummy because he didn't do nothing to mummy, and that's CGI that had to face. Be, that CGI face was wonderful. That was wonderful. That was pure uh, two thousand. James Cameron. That was, was James Cameron yeah. was sitting back like someday soon I'm gonna do better. <laughs> someday, look, it's like, like this. here's what James Cameron sitting there. I like what they're doing with the eyes. The anime movie can do. do <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, no, like. Now, right there, you mentioned that face, right? You mentioned that face. <laughs> Hold up. You mentioned that face from the mummy, right? Meanwhile, meanwhile, somebody, some ain't shit producer was like, you know what? I'm going to take that same face and put it in the middle of a hurricane. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Here's the best and that's going to be my symbolism, and I'm not even going to explain why. Hey, yo, here's the best part about all this. Sony. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You nailed it, guys. You nailed it right there. The R face right there with the scorpion. <laughs> like R, baby. <laughs> yo, yo, I can imagine right there somebody just, one of the producers like, man, this movie's excellent. Man, I love it. And then he immediately jumps off on like a balcony or some shit. <laughs> yo, but you know what's funny? Well, I always he... wonder, like, that rock face, did they like just carve that and just use it in the Spy Hunter games? Or did they like build the <laughs> Spy Hunter game around the face? <laughs> the fact that Prime invoked that Spy Hunter game for the movie that never was is amazing. <laughs> Yo, do you know that fucking game had three sequels? Prime, thank three you. fucking sequels. Did you know that shit? There were three. There hey, hey, three hey, did you know who did you, did you know THQ dare people to pay forty dollars for that fucking game? How yes. dare you THQ? Oh, they, <laughs> they were standing yes, by the cave going, you know you're gonna. Come on. I love that you know, know and you wanna know you wanna know what made it even better was the fact that they released that game around the time of that first movie. I know, right? <laughs> Even though the even though they weren't even even though they were not related, they made sure that the game was completely unrelated to the movie. They just no, said, no, yeah, no, this no, is no, 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 no. They never made the movie, Sue. That's the thing. Oh, I, okay. So they never made the movie, but nope. yeah, that's right. It was the game that, that was shit made. Didn't even go into pre-production. It was Wait. like it, it was in the fucking like early phases of we're doing drawings and concept drawings of this. So and, like, uh, we got the rock in the script. It's happening. No, no, it's no, it did not happen. Not, and I'm gonna tell you what ain't gonna happen. But uh, okay, back on the solo. But, but it is I, Sony. I, but th- but this movie solo is Sony. It was under Triumph Films before it got gobbled up by Sony. But all right, all right. So Chris, so Chris, I'm well, actually for Eris too, because um, there's you know Prime, you should learn this about us. Um, there are quite a few character actors that Three Blade Geeks like, but one that that particularly makes us rub our nipples. William Sadler. Oh my yes. god, he's movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Now I know what you people are saying. Like, why do you guys like him? Isn't he like borderline racist? Yeah, probably. But <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we like him is because he's a solid character actor. <laughs> it takes more than that to make us like you. He did butt naked cottas and die hard too. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. That is something that only gets more awesome. Every time I fucking see it. <laughs> Actually, no, no, D, and just to add to that, not only did he do, not only did he do Butt Naked Cottas and Die Hard 2, in that same year, he took five shots from Ice T, uh, still kept standing, and gunned him down with only two bullets. Oh, Chris, I am saying it. I don't know where we're gonna do it, but three black geeks, we're redoing that. We're not that is not even gonna be a redo, but we're gonna reintroduce that to people. It's the remake. <laughs> We have to talk about Trespass again. That was like our second or third episode of Three Bike Geeks ever. We I, have to talk about I it again. I, I love don't, the movie. No, see, D, I don't want us to I don't want us to talk about it. I want us all I want all of us to dig deep and invoke our inner riff tracks and we sit down and watch that movie like don't together. You dare, well, I'm sorry, you want me to talk over William Sadler? How goddamn dare you? Also, that would be very excellent during that one part where the, where the where the whole thing caught fire and I'm surprised nobody said that nobody said the line that 
said the line I wanted to say, like, you know, like, hey, Ice T's in here. Why is he melting? Nobody made, mentioned no melting. <laughs> <laughs> time. Also, no ID. That's a double fail on both of us because we could have said the same thing for Ice Cube. Also, be said Argyle. Anyway, <laughs> no, honestly, so Solo is one of those movies that, like, in the '90s, people that made these kind of movies, they they did the con- the concept of a cyborg. It, it, they, they made it very simplistic, but because it's the 90s, the technology wasn't there to really, like, make it work, per se. Dude, look, dude we are standing in the year 2019. We're just now getting to that technology. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the idea for... And this is this has been a thing. It's not just solo. There were a lot of movies that dabbled with the concept of, we want to put androids out there in war so our men aren't getting Nero killed. So, Nero versus Soldier is one that everybody knows about. Yeah. Um, speaking <clears throat> of tracks um eris you know about this rotor yes i know about rotor rotor is so fucking awesome but at the same time chris i swear to god you're gonna if we make you watch that movie you're gonna look at me and eris like okay you two don't get to pick no movie ever again (laughs) you get a one week time out there people (laughs) you thank you you get a one week time Look, there's Ro- look. You got Rotor, Cyber Trackers. There was a bunch of them in the '80s that that had ooh, that. Oh, oh, oh! Podcast. There was another. Hold on, I just remember one. Okay, there's this. Like, there's this movie, and the only reason why I know about it is because freaking Nero seventy seven made a synthwave video out of it. Um, not long after the Terminator came out, there was this movie about this dude who's got this cybernetic arm that he only uses for arm wrestling. Oh and- my god! I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, you already know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's yeah, all I need to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know the name of it either. <laughs> but here's the thing. They did do these things. Even Kurt Russell, I think a year later, made another movie called Soldier that kind of tackled the same concept and stuff. And, and even I and, think, yeah, That was Kurt Russell? I thought that was Swayze. No, nah, no, nah, it was Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell did that. Okay. Was, yeah, and, and I think it was Andrew Jolie Jolie like a year before this movie did Cyborg 2, which kind of tackled the same concept of like, hey, we made this cybernetic, it looks almost human, and we're going to put it out there. Solo did the same thing, and the thing about this movie is that, like, Mario Van Peebles, when he plays the, the title character, it's like he's trying not to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator, Terminator, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's basically Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator, no, but he's I know not. What you're no, I know it's what like he's saying. Tra- it's like he was trying to. It's like he was trying to channel Arnold Schwarzenegger, but at the same give us at the same time give us Brian Fury before Tekken Three came out. Yeah, basically what you're seeing is a is a collection, a, a fucking a, a, a mishmash, a hodgepodge, if you will, of all action quips and action things. Because look at it, look at Eris. The reason I mean, Chris, the reason why you think that is because let's take a. It's a jungle. B. There's guns everywhere. C. We got. Got to get the take about the mission, damn it. D, um, <laughs> you, you, uh, D, you have that, uh, you have the the whole um plot I love to talk about, you know, the seven samurai plot must save the villagers plot, you know what I mean? So, of course, you want to, well, of course, you're going to think of um Schwarzenegger and freaking um Stallone or whatever action star because the jungle backdrop plus soldiers has been done to death in Hollywood Mm -hmm. to the point that, like I said, it all blends in. If you, unless you have something to really stand out. Eh, So I understand why you feel that way. And you also forget the fact that, uh, in this movie, you get Adrian Brody, who was still finding himself in Hollywood before he did the pianist and he blew up and shit. So, and then then he had a mediocre career after that. I said, it. (laughs) But it's hey, really- hey, hey, but do you don't like his stellar turn in The Predator? <laughs> actually, I love that. Yeah, he actually played the lead in The Predator. I love that movie. <laughs> the fact that they wait. You know what? That, you know what? That's what was missing from this movie. And then, you he, ain't lying. and then he turned around and did a movie with Jackie Chan and fucking uh, other dude called Dragon Blade. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? What is happening? He's trying to find himself, man. The one thing Brody nailed, though, was that 90s look he had in this movie. Good God. Uh, 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 I'm going to give it to his prime might laugh at this. I'm going to give it to Sue on this one. He was fucking hyping the shit out of that goddamn Soho shirt. <laughs> Soho shirt. That Bro, shirt. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I was hyping it, but just, I'm just saying look at it. It bleeds it's... 90s. It bleeds junk cola. That's what that shit bleeds. All right? <laughs> that right there, Chris. Chris, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, 
first of all, you cut that shirt open, that shit bleeds surge and moon boots. Tony all Hawk, right? Tony Hawk all right, leaps out all, to you after all right. that. All right, guys. All right, I'm saying this. This is deep, making fun of both of y'all. But both of y'all have used that joke five times. Click. That's the fifth one. Who wants to go to ice Who wants ice cream? Who wants <laughs> All right, CJ, I'll rock, paper, scissors for you. All right, look, look. So in other words, so in other words, because, hey, get on D when he does it too. We need to find new jokes. They're getting on to us, guys. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, the only thing that was missing was Tony Hawk Ramley high-fiving fucking Adrian Brody in this movie. Like, okay. Cool. Oh, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> but, if you really, but if you really think about it, like, out of all the looks, because let's be real here, Adrian Brody goes through at least five different outfits throughout this movie. I mean, because he, he's supposed to be playing I, I, this this scientist, but he feels like more like a dude bro. No, not dude bro, but kind of like I'm hip scientist. No, no, he's a, he's hip 90 scientist. So let's just be real. We we'll always have that one guy that comes in. He's young. He doesn't play by the rules like everybody else has a suit and tie, but he has on like baggy jeans. He he rides a skateboard, has a Hawaiian shirt on. That is because he's eccentric. That's how that works. Ah. Yes. As far as Adrian Brody is concerned, the way his character looked in this movie, it didn't look like he came straight off of a Color Me Bad video. Doesn't he, man? I'm just saying, like, but the thing of it is, he's John, got... He's, he's cousin, John B's <laughs> cousin over here named Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Corey? The, the, one Corey. Thing, the one thing we find out, so Solo goes on a mission and stuff, and we find out that, you know, he doesn't put the detonators out because he finds out that the airstrip that they were supposed to be blowing up, he finds that they're are um, basically villagers, vill- villagers helping him out, and it goes against his protocol of hey, they're not combatants. They don't have guns. You know what's the great part about you know what's you know what's a great part part about uh, uh, Isomov's um, rules of robotics? Nobody gives a shit when they write a movie. Um, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Nobody that just completely goes out the window. The mix is great about this. You see the opening scene. It looks like the. It looks like the, um, not um. What was the first thing? The first uh, was it Ground Zeroes? Yeah, was Ground Zeroes. Yeah, it was Ground <laughs> Zeroes because you because you saw him climb. You saw him scaling that uh like the edge of that cliff, right? Just like Snake. I was just waiting for him to hop up, pull up the damn night vision goggles, and be like, "Kept you waiting, huh?" <laughs> Mario Man Peoples. <laughs> Mario oh, Man yeah. Peoples is Solid Snake. Um, oh, don't, do that, yeah. don't do that, CJ. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that because I think because you know damn well Mario Van Peoples will crush that role. You know he will. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. All right. Another thing. When I saw him climbing up on the side of that hill, here's me, Mario Van Climb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to D saying that. 18 times in this podcast. Now, now, here's the thing. You know, after, you know, he gets rid of the detonators and William Sandler says, fuck the nigga, and blows him up and shit, I laugh at the fact that there was like, you know, he was all like, the Colonel, Colonel Frank Madden, that's his name. Um, he's all like, where's Solo? Ah, I think he's gone. And all of a sudden, clunk, what the hell was that? And Solo just grabs onto the you helicopter. A, do, and you just, see his, you just see him look up. Ah, bring him in. <laughs> I mean, you notice... Now you notice that with uh, uh, with William Sadler playing obvious bad guy. Oh yeah, I mean because he's gung ho about wanting to kill some Hispanics, so you know that's what it is. Stop saying it like that. <laughs> hey, look, man. I mean, look, I mean, he, I mean, look, he didn't care about I mean, the look, villagers. I'm just saying. I mean, it's kind of true. I mean, he wanted the airstrip blown up, even with the villagers on it. And considering he was, I mean, considering Sadler was standing around looking like a 1996 uh, Master Miller, kind of makes a point. So the thing of it is, is when he gets back to base, you know, he's in front of fucking Barry Cor- Barry Corbin uh, playing the general and William Sattler. And basically that's when our boy Adrian is basically saying, all right, guys, um, I kind of made Solo actually feel sympathy and actually think instead of being just a regular robot. He saw three black geeks. I have a question. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, the. Well, the, well okay. no, no, no. You don't want to kill a no, no, machine no. indiscriminately wait. in the field, I guess. Wait, wait, Prime, hold on. I, I got this. I, I got this, Prime. So, D, mm-hmm. you're asking why? You're asking why would he program that? They program that? They program emotions and shit into his system. Would you rather have that, or would you rather have Solo get struck by lightning and all of a sudden the nigga thinks he's alive? You know what, Eris, don't you put that evil on this movie, okay? Don't you dare put this evil on this movie, all right, man? 
I mean, next thing you know, you're gonna tell me Solo has fucking laser beam eyes and shit. You know. You know, I'm surprised. Okay, he also, did. Just, to, just so we're clear, right? Just so we're clear, right? Like <laughs> Solo has like no organic components at all. Nope. <laughs> No, one hundred percent. No, the only thing organic on him is that skin, apparently. And that, yeah, because apparently he can sweat. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you know, we talk about Disney jocking a lot. Did Disney take the inspiration from Big Hero Six from this fucking movie? Because apparently Solo's like internal like conscience is based on a fucking computer chip. Apparently. All right, all right, all right, Chris. I know what you're thinking of <laughs> shit Solo, and that's nice. And I know you're trying to give Mario Van Peebles credit. Don't. For one main reason. For one really main reason. Have you ever read a science book in the 1960s? Yeah. All yeah. right, then. That's what they yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's different wives and all that stuff. You're right. It's yeah. always the same thing. Like, I programmed it with a heart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so too How perfect. many zeros did that take? Was that like, <laughs> did you have to divide them? Or was like, so would you have to do or layer the microchip? So, I right. mean, we worked with 32-point megabytes back then. I'm just saying. Like, I know, right? <laughs> Hey yo, hey yo, just real quick, this this is a good question. Um, what program is that thing running off of? Linux. <laughs> Fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Actually, you want to know? No, if you really want to know what system is running off of, it's running off of how? Like, was it? It's running off of Hollywood computer systems because you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. Even though I got a feeling if this was made today, you'll see nothing but a bunch of Apple logos everywhere. So you see Apple logos out the ass and you would also see probably uh, the D team from Stan Winston's uh, uh, special effects team of them putting together all the shit. Like, for example, his uh, his vision. I I love Solo's vision in (laughs) in the fact that his his vision runs off of. God, what the hell was that? Because it, it wasn't like he had Predator his own, Vision. The type of features that Solo sports, he comes stand. He comes with standard standard issue equipment. Um, you know, Cyber Vision, or mm-hmm. as I like to call Solo Vision, and he also comes with uh, 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 uh what's that? Thing? Like, uh, what's, what's that? Like, what's that wonderful, amazing thing? Oh yeah, that's right. He comes with this amazing feature called Google Translate. <laughs> which is the oh, laziness of Google Translate because, <laughs> let me tell you something, folks. Whenever they do these movies and robots are translating, nine times out of ten, they also will speak the native tongue of said person that they're interacting with. Not Solo. That costs much money. Not that Solo. Money. <laughs> Solo, Solo is running on Windows 95 tactics here, all right? Come on. This is- I mean, this was, 19, this was 1996, so yeah, I, I, can imagine, I can imagine this being like straight up Windows 3.0. Thank God or- it wasn't Windows me. So, you know, but look, <laughs> the is, look, the thing is this, that he has a big ass hole in the side of his um side of his body because it got blown off during the explosions and all that. Because let's just be real. William Sadler is like, fuck that robo nigger and just blew up everything. <laughs> he did. And so he has to. Uh, so the whole thing right at this point is that he has to recharge and he have to uh, wait for his new. Um, let's just be real. His new hard drive, whatever the power bank he's getting. To um, be made so he can put it inside. See, when he first went back and was trying to explain his reasons as to why he took out the charges, um, the colonel's like, mm, "Something's wrong with that near robot. Do what you need to do. Like, do what you need to do with him. Do, like, erase his memory, change his protocols." Adrian Burley playing, you know, the sympathetic scientist, but but I designed him. If you just let me fix him, I, I mean, I'm sure he can go back in. There's no need to do anything like that. We have two billion dollars put into that system. But hold on. Rewind. Did you not just say that if anything was to happen to him, you wouldn't care? They flip flop right. a lot of the times in this movie on whether they look, care look, or look, you care. Gotta, anyway, it. anyway, anyway, anyway. Get- Look, look, Eris. Much like a racist that was working with the working with the Secret Service during Obama's administration, it cuts to your head. Fuck that nigga. Oh man, he has a price on it. He's like, he's actually my boss. Ah, let him live. That's how that was really for him. I mean, it's that. Then you know. Then of course, Solo catches wise to it. I mean, decides to take a chopper and fly off to protect the innocents. I love. And- I- how he just hopped in the chopper and like nobody could stop him. Uh, stop, stop, stop. First off, uh, he had an interaction with our brother Christopher Michael. You might know Christopher <laughs> Michael did. as fucking always the black cop in every 90s TV show. <laughs> and also, side note, he was the FBI agent in Guyver 2 Dark Hero. 
basically playing the same goddamn character. But I'm fine with it because he's good at those roles. What? Oh damn, man! Don't do that. Exactly. That. <laughs> I like I like how he I like how he's joking to Solo, and Solo looked at him like that was a joke, my brother. I'm like, oh god, oh god, we're doing yeah, this, aren't we? Because, he, because because you got you forget, guys. He's a robot, so he has to. He doesn't understand what humor is. <laughs> but he's black, and apparently, all the black people on that navy ship look up to him for whatever reason. Which I thought was interesting, seeing how in a flashback, Adrian Brody had to explain a joke to Solo. He's like, what is a joke? Yeah, so, Solo is weird in the fact that, like, he also, there's certain things that he does, like, at one point when Brody is smoking in front of him, he takes a cigarette out of his mouth to imply that he doesn't like him smoking. Let's also now walk over to the fact where he, the, um, Adrian let him choose what he wanted to look like. And so, oh. because it's a 90s movie, there's a Nike commercial playing, and he goes, <laughs> well, I want to look like Mike. So... Can we just mark this down? Like, this is the first time in history that a non-black entity decided willingly to be black. Is this? Is this? That is, that is, historic like, you know what? Yo, that, is, that is historic. Right. That is historic. That is historic. That, not only, not, not, not only, only that. Hold on. Like, not only, not only is that historic. Um, first of all, Prime, we, we're not gonna ignore the fact that he said the quote of the '90s, which was "Be like Mike." Oh, <laughs> uh, D only has not ignore the fact that. When he made him, he didn't say, yo, I don't look a goddamn thing. Like, how fucking... Exactly. He didn't look nothing <laughs> like him. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Dr. Brody, you suck at carving, dog. How does that look like Michael Jordan? They're not even the same skin complexion, man. You know what that was right My- there, guys? You know what it was? Uh, I can't make them too dark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, know you, got some really, you got some really shitty QC here, Doc. Yeah, <laughs> like, bad. You know, pull it off. I mean, he plays, you know, he, I mean, obviously, dude's supposed to be a cyborg, robot, whatever they want to call him throughout this movie. We just know that he's solo. We know that he's a $2 no, billion you, dollar project. But you're, but you're right dollars. in the fact that it's, so, but it's, like, it's to the extent that, like, they go, they flip-flop on whether he's worth killing, and then they throw in the line because they do that in every movie. All right, ship his ass back to fucking uh, uh, Palmdale. And I'm like, I don't know Palmdale. That's what they put every top secret shit at. Palmdale. <laughs> like his, the thing that get me with that is like, all right, so let me get this shit straight. Because he didn't kill somebody properly, you want to scrap a project that costs $2 billion. First off, I wish... Norfolk Grumman would do some dumb shit like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, Who's to say they like, aren't doing that yeah, now? Seems, like, like, I don't like hey, this. He seems, don't, like, hold on, sorry. I don't like this. I don't like this. He seems defective. Something's not right with him. Eh, scra- like, scrap the whole project, send his ass back to Cybernize Systems. Wait, wrong movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Chris? First off, I'm not going to let that pass me at all. That is very topical because I think Norfolk Grumman hasn't done that before. <laughs> look, look, we talked about them fucking fu- fucking funneling money through them fucking bowl games. That's their way of basically, you know, hey, yeah. cleaning you money. For, you know for a fact, Lockheed Martin jerks off, jerks off a hundred million dollars every two days. Yeah? You know <laughs> they do. And, and also, Eris, you bring up. A good, <laughs> also, Eris, you bring up a good point. Side note. I mean, look, you were talking about whether that bald look was real. I'm still looking back at Jaws of Revenge like, hey, Mario, what the fuck was that wig on your head the whole movie? Yeah. <laughs> look, there are, some, look, there are, look, there are some looks. There are some looks. There are some looks that Mario can like can rock and get away with it. And then there's just others where I'm just looking at him like, hey, bro. The bald look, he, cool. the look, he's lucky. The one in, in Jaws of Revenge, I'm like, did you really grow your head out and braise, dog? Did you? Hey, you got to think about it. He was, he was kind of bald in all Highlander 3. Yeah, he was. So, yeah. Also, also, I'm sorry, y'all were worried about that hair. Yo, Mario, what the hell is with that accent, nigga? That's a <laughs> oh, that too. One. That was number one. <laughs> that was that was number one on my like on my damn hey, document. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> it's not, it's the not only a- thing. Only thing was missing with Mario and that was him saying a lot of mercy. That was the hey, only look, thing. That it was wasn't like- as egregious as the Steven Seagal movie we did with the Jamaicans, but. Hey dog, like look. I don't know. Actually, this is a good question for people that learn that know both of those movies. Which Jamaican accent was worse? Mario Van Peebles and Jaws of Revenge or Robert Townsend Robert Townsend's Jamaican accent in the Mighty Quinn? Man, Man listen, nobody ever stole. says nobody ever talks about that. Oh, because no. Or because or wait, wait, hold on. Wait, I got one more. Or Leon playing the evil Jamaican in Cliffhanger. I don't know. I don't well, know. 
No, it, it could be because no, Leon's no. You th- you're thinking of Leon's accent and cool running. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the one from Cliffhanger. No, no, Cliffhanger. See, the one, he tried Cliff- and he gave up. Yeah. Gave see, up cool runnings. The, no, the one in Cool Runnings is funny because it's a Disney. It's Disney and it's a comedy. I let it go. Him trying to play that shit off at Cliffhanger and be a bad guy at that. No, you deserve that stalactite through the stomach. Side, side note. That's fucked side, up. Side, side note. I love Luke Cage season two, but you can't get Luke Cage, man. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, all right. I love your show. That is fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just that's. Well, at some point, we're gonna do Jaws of Revenge. We, I know, I know it's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be soon, but we got that's that's gonna be a topic of contention easily. But Solo gets on the helicopter, gets into a chase, and he does the most obvious thing, which is I'm going to crash into a cliff and fake my death. Which makes me ask the question, so Solo, what was the next part of your plan after you crashed the helicopter Self, and made it? Self, self-preservation there, Sue. Come on. You know, that, that was no, 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 no. I mean, after you survived, because you were clearly going to survive that shit. As you can see, okay. you know, the distance between the distance between the sh- uh, the chopper and the ground was really not that damn high. Yeah. So he could have easily jumped out. But of course, the camera fakes it to make you think that he was still in the damn <laughs> chopper. Um, he crashes his shit there. And of course, they're searching the ground. They're searching the, uh, the wreckage like problem. We can't find him. Like He seems to be gone. Damn it. All right. Like, tag him and bag him, bring him back in one piece. And I mean bring him back in one piece. Well, Which you already know. You already, you already know for a fact that the colonel who was uh, who was giving out these orders already knows that Sadler's going to be a fucking problem. Well, I mean, it, it, and that's on top of the fact that Sadler was like, hey, so um, by the way, um, about that, there's no body. Yeah, there's no body here. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, so Solo manages to slip through the jungle, or or the or the uh, I'm sorry, or the the unused set from Predator. Yeah, uh, and he and he comes upon a village of people, the same people that we end up finding out were the villagers that were helping out on that flight line they were supposed to blow up. And, with the rebels. And, yeah, and this is where a good chunk of the movie takes place before we get to our B subplot of them trying to fight a warlord. Which that was interesting. I mean, first of all, did anybody in this first of all, any, like anybody in this room, did any of y'all care about the warlord? Eh, throw away B plot villain. Uh, meh. Yeah, I mean he was yeah, felt very he, meh. He, he, right? he was he was typical third world warlord that we've seen before that just wants to take over a village and the, and the thing of it is when when Solo gets there now remember again I give the movie some credit for continuity. Um, he he's working on backup power, so he needs something to recharge his generator in his body. And he has was it a battery electrical generator that they had in that village to basically hook up to? Well, at first he tried to take out. He took out like a damn television tube, and he thought that would work. Nah. Other times he would just rest to to recharge his uh, his energy. Yeah, because he's running on. Uh, because before he left, like before he left the base, he was running on his uh, his reserves. Yeah, yeah, his reserves. My bad. You and got, but you got like you got like the fact that he got them that nineteen ninety five lithium battery that could recharge. <laughs> stuff like that. They could just recharge. Like it could just recharge after he just sits down for about like for a couple of hours. Or make it even worse if you just rub the if you not rub if you press the battery from both ends, you can see what meter it's at. I mean, oh yeah, because you know he got that. He got that on his toe and like his nose or some crap like that. <laughs> or 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 if they had a had a freezer, freeze his ass and he'll probably charge the battery up. You know. Oh god. But here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about that. The one question that got you know, this is a just I I don't understand the interface of robots in movies. I just don't like. I get that they got to see stuff differently, and yes, they're going to see command prompts and all that. But you think there'd be like a battery meter right there in the corner, <laughs> just to tell them how much battery they have left? I you would know. think you would think for a movie that's filmed on like filmed with cameras, there would be a battery meter that would give <laughs> them the idea. To put that into the movie, you know, I was telling myself when he was like recharging, I was like, "This is his version of the Rambo scene with the <laughs> with the hot knife." Oh yeah, he'll try to cauterize. Oh no, he'll try to cauterize the cauterize the wound, and he's like, 
except yeah, yeah. except except Solo stares in zero 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 when he does it. <laughs> All right, you know what, Chris? That is clever. Here's a here's a coup here's a coupon for Chick Fil A. Go have fun with that. Son. Yay, spicy <laughs> chicken sandwich. Yes. <laughs> Oh damn, we are. <laughs> here's the here's, here's a funny day. Oh damn, Chris, we are kindred spirits. And then it hits me, nigga. Everybody likes the, chi- the spicy chicken sandwich over there. <laughs> but have you ever it's had it? Oh, Yo, God, don't you, no, don't you, don't you dare invoke fucking half baked jokes, CJ. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Don't you- I, actually, I invoke. I invoked. Have you ever had a hot spicy chicken sandwich on a Sunday? <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, quit being a fucking monster. Okay? <laughs> you quit being a monster. Uh, I had that miracle look, happen look, look. at the airport. That was amazing. Now, how, now, how, did y'all, now how did you gentlemen like him invoking that Rambo scene uh, while inside of a damn cave in Mexico? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. But you know what was, it was Mexico. That was Mexico? It was Mexico. Yeah, it was Mexico. Uh, yeah, definitely right. Mexico. Yeah, I just Paul's- said, I, you know what I said it was? Just to be honest. I'm like, that's not Mexico. That's Valverde. Come on, man. I know what I, I know that country when I see it. <laughs> also, like, also, did you like how while he was trying to, while, while he was trying to seek, you know, sanctuary and refuge inside this cave, um, he decided to pull up his internal Wikipedia when he noticed a, a rattlesnake on the ground. <laughs> because of course he has a look. This you got to remember. This is in the mid '90s, so it was the uh, Britannica. <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, the uh, God, I forgot the name of that. Encyclopedia shit. Britannica. Was, yeah, the Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I couldn't think of that shit. It's like nine ninety nine. You can get the full nah, set. Um, now, nah, if it was not no, if this was the mid '90s, then then no, he just uses internal dog pile or Lycos. Man. Actually, hold- Mid nineties, mid nineties. Wasn't that before the Microsoft Encyclopedia? I believe so. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, it might have been. I think I went that around, case, Look, those, those search engines were around for a minute. Yeah. yeah, the search was out for a minute. I know that, but let's just be honest, Eris. It was ninety six. The search engines back then, porn, 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 government secrets that are not true. <laughs> porn, porn. What do, you mean, what do you mean back then? You mean right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty much right now. Well, the difference is the difference is crime, and I'm I'm glad you said that. Now it's porn, porn, porn. Government secrets are not true. Porn, porn, porn. Facebook, porn, porn, porn. <laughs> Smoke. Oh, wait. We got one. Uh, and I got one more. You boomer! How dare you? <laughs> you boomer! <laughs> Thank you, Prime. <laughs> Hey, Prime, hold up. I got another one for you. Like, porn, Instagram, porn, porn, Facebook, Instagram, porn, 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 government secrets, WikiLeaks, porn, porn, and, like, like porn, and for good measure, uh, oh, God, what was that site? Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. Pirate Bay. Yeah. No. It's still online. <laughs> it's still online. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's still online. <laughs> God, no, it wasn't pirate. It was something I was gonna pull up that was that that's still in use, and I was trying to remember what it was. Surprise! Fucking solo didn't pull up like Alta Vista and shit on his goddamn fucking protocol. <laughs> or Netscape Communicator. Netscape, Netscape <laughs> Communicator, like early Netscape man. See, kids, uh, back in the nineties, uh, Netscape was the search engine to go to. We're old. <laughs> yeah, we're old. <laughs> you like, no solo gets bored, goes on to steak and cheese <laughs> That's why he never left me. <laughs> that nigga was sitting there, there, huh? I didn't know Betty Rubble can get it from both ends like that. That's amazing. <laughs> now, D, word to the wise. That website is still active. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I feel if you go I feel if you go to steakandcheese.com today, you'll fucking go to jail. That's like that's to go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Go to jail now. Well, well, well like, see, like, well, CJ, they don't have a hard. First of all, CJ, they will have a hard time trying to find you if you're on a VPN looking at that shit. First off, sir, I'm, I might, I might be in fucking, I might be doing programming, but I have not established a VPN yet. So yeah, I might as be in jail right now. <laughs> Correct. You're absolutely right because a steak and cheese exists today. I'm pretty sure there are nothing but pedophiles there. I am pretty <laughs> sure. No, here's the bad thing about it: that website still exists, and those images from way back in the '90s are still there. Like all the crazy. I don't want to look. Pictures. I don't want to look at them. Seriously. Look, shout, look, shout outs to the dudes that still kept up their GeoCity pages, man. Shout right? out. First of all. 
Yo, anytime I search the internet for something, usually it's old porn. Uh, anytime I search, <laughs> search for that and I see Angel Fire, I'm like, nah, nah, dog. <laughs> Angel Fire with the fucking shitty fire gifts as the border of your website <laughs> with the glitter name and all that stuff. Is that what you're talking about? Oh my God. Did, didn't Tripod have their own stuff too? Oh man, I mean, look, if we're in 96, hell, I remember watching Highlander, and, and and Prime might know this too. I think all of us know this. We were back in the day when they had, like, fan sites for, like, Highlander and the Xena Warrior Princess and Hercules and shit around oh, this time. I just, it's not fan sites. What do you mean, like, the fucking web rings where you had to, like, you go to this one site and you get, like, I get half the information from this site, click on the jump to the next page and get the rest of the information from this website. <laughs> You know who the best you know who the best ones had that and I and, and I'm glad it's y'all that went into it. Gundam's web ring was one of the best ones. They Ooh. were so wrapped around, man. Oh my god. The fact that you said web ring just brought me back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wow. Uh, Ramoni Kenshin had it too as well, by the way. <laughs> oh, Ramoni Kenshin had one. Um I think almost um, every anime had a web ring. Ooh. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Neon Genesis had one. Neon uh, Evangelion, they that, had a that real. Is, that, that is a rabbit hole you do not want to fall back in the nineties. That is just like amazingly, oh. amazingly, Dragon Ball had them, but nobody gave a shit. They just went straight to PlanetNamic.com. dot com. Exactly. <laughs> so, first oh, of all, uh, hold on. Have to pay respects. Have to pay respects. Yep. Oh, first, oh, like, sure. like, first of all, screw all of y'all. I didn't go to that site. I went to DBZ and Thrawn. Oh, yeah, with all the uh, MPEG uh, videos from movies that didn't hit the U.S. yet. That was fun. <laughs> movies that would not hit the U.S. for years. That was fun. Like, oh, shit, who is, who is Gogeta fighting? I don't know who this guy is, but he looks awesome. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> that is Broly, by the way, just putting that out there. And Jennifer. And right, my God. And right never- there, hold up, huh, AD. What you just heard from CJ was pretty much the first day that me and CJ met. <laughs> No, no, no. I always say this to this day, and D and, and Prime will laugh at this. It was like stepbrothers. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Yep. That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Dude. Dude. All right, all right. All right. To get back on the subject, though, let's let's be honest. He didn't get on the internet. He was playing he was playing Sim City 2000, all right? No, 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 no. no. We're just going to keep it simple. He was playing Minesweeper, sir. Minesweeper. He's playing Minesweeper. You know what? Mine, I got to be honest with you. Only a only a computer can play Minesweeper to me, because you know how much I hated, especially being at school with that one kid that can play Minesweeper better than anybody else. And actually, like fucking, you you end up like being like the Rain Man if you're the one person playing fucking Minesweeper. Like, oh damn, this guy must be fucking super smart if you play Minesweeper. And they and they good at that. You know what? All right, all right, real quick. No, we're all lying, guys. He was playing ski free, and he's trying to get away from that little monster that comes behind you. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm gonna take it a step further. He played an old classic, Solitary. Jeez. You know what? You know that what? Works. Let's be honest. We've seen that interface. That's probably all he could play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, what games are on this bad boy? Solitary. All right. I love. So, the, I, I love hey, the. I love the interface static. Anyway. <laughs> like, hey, Prime. Okay. Now I got a question. Now I got a question for Prime. So, Prime, while all this is going on, they figured, all right, we're about to lose. You know, we're going to go ahead and take this $2 billion L. Uh, how long, you know, how long did you give a countdown until Brody's death? Because you knew it was coming. Oh, you knew it was. Oh, it was undeniable. I, I was like, <laughs> so, so, quick story about this movie. Like, um, this is my to-go-to movie back in syndication, uh, UPN 30, College Boy. Uh, um <laughs> Hey, we all had like it's one movie. of those movies like, like I would just wait for it to come on because uh you know being a Met kid I I was like devouring anything that had robots or anything dealing with um robotics in any shape form or fashion, um and so I was just waiting for old uh, great value Android sixteen here to have his Doctor <laughs> Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't no. you ain't lying because instead of birds, he had he likes spiders. You're right. I was I just gonna say they had the spiders in the fucking thing. Yeah, like, I like nature. <laughs> I, like I nature. like the women and the children. I love nature. Side note: Did you, like, did you like? No, side note: Before I let you continue, probably did you just love the fact that his that the that the villagers made fun that he didn't take to the fucking hot. Playboy chick that they sh- they threw in front of him in the pictures. Oh yeah, the freaking yo, nudie deck. Yo, the nudie yo, deck. That whole that whole fucking conversation they had was like funny as shit to me. What the fuck was it? It was like um 
So <laughs> she was like laying the shit thick on him. He's like it was going completely over his fucking head. Like solo. She wants to. <laughs> she wants to tell you she's using playing USB. She wants to smash, bro. Which means she wants to which, control, which, delete which, that dick. Which goes back to, did Solo have a dick? No, he did. You know he had a smooth spot in the middle. All right, you know he. Did. <laughs> so he's a GI yeah, Joe I, doll. I really, oh, I really no, hate. No, I, I, I really, don't know. I really, Deanna's, no, I Deanna's really hate. Show to. didn't argue when he made him look like Michael Jordan. So I'm just saying he might have, you know, might have been really, fully operational. I really, hate gotta, br- I really, gotta, really, really hate to break it to y'all, but I, I, I am, I am to assume that he. Um, that he had the same the same reaction that that Doctor Naomi Hunter got when she undressed Solid Snake in MGS Four. What 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 what? Oh my! <laughs> no, not oh my. Remember, remember, Solid Snake could never have kids. Ah, oh, in which strange. in which that was a that was a government plan because they said, hey, if this motherfucker ever falls into the wrong hands or if he ever decided to go rogue, we're gonna make sure that you know. You know, we're gonna take some precautions. That's why we speed I mean that's why we sped up his aging and took away his ability to reproduce. So, yeah. so uh, look right there, right there. And then you look at the Adrian Brody. So why did you give him a dick in the first place? Look, guys, I just wanted to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you it's know, for, no. um, as he as he looks from side to side, pulls his collar going, it's for infiltration. <laughs> and I mean, My what ass. if what if they want to get him? <laughs> solo infiltrate says solo two. He infiltrates a Chippendales ring. I mean, and let's just be real. That uh, you know, that nice that nice spicy uh, like Mexican chick. Uh, she was definitely laying on thick that uh <laughs> that she wanted that hey, D. She, she wanted some thirteen inch dick. Cause I'm pretty sure Adrian Brody gave him a thirteen inch dick because reasons. Why? Why? Why thirteen? <laughs> sounds like a nice. It sounds like a nice. It sounds like a nice number. Is, why not thirteen? Exactly. Why not? <laughs> exactly. All right. No. 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 That I sounds. Say, uh, that sounds like I a say, nice. No. That sounds like a nice nineties number. I know, right? <laughs> and let's be real about this. Considering that even to this day, black men get that fucking thing of, oh, you got big dicks, and especially white chicks for some reason fetishize off that shit. Why not? Like I said, Prime. Why not thirteen? Sounds like it's. Nah. Bad. Let's just be honest. With you. Let's just really be honest. Solo never uses it, right? You know when he was recharging one day, William Sandler came off and cut it off. I cut it off. Yeah, you <laughs> big black digger. It's like homeboy in Django. <laughs> like homeboy in Django when he's about to cut Jamie Foxx's dick off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What movie was that? There's a movie that we're going to do later on this year. I mean, uh, this year, uh, Samurai Cop. They come up to the black cop. He said, uh, the black cop just got done, like, banging out his girlfriend, right? And the guy takes out a knife. He's like, hey, guys, hey, hey, let's let's go ahead. Yeah, now we're about to cut it off, cut off your gift, your black gift. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they call this shit a black gift. I'm like, yo, wow. No, but here's the thing. So Solo ends up becoming the the, the uh, hero for the villagers against this warlord because surprise, surprise, easy, 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 easy on that, Chris. Hey guys, have you seen Seven Samurai? Yeah, then you know what happened. Yeah. So <laughs> William Sadler, upon him fighting the uh, warding off the warlords the first time, uh, basically pops up on the fucking military satellite as though he didn't pop up before on the satellite. I like how they how they just did this real weird thing where he's just dead. They knew he was alive. They knew he was in that village. They just didn't get it, didn't jump to get him. They had to wait until the rebels got their asses handed to him. When I say mm-hmm. handed, to him, handed to him, all Solo did, and like I said, on some Seven Samurai shit. Okay, I'll teach you how to defend your village. And he, because he's a robot, and because he knows how shit works. He um, got them to have like booby traps and shit. They lit some <laughs> home alone. Spike out. Yeah, he pretty much gave him home alone tactics. I mean, dog, man. Oh yeah. They, uh, uh, speaking of which, before I go on, can, are, are we going to talk about that creepy scene where he picked up the cigar and started laughing? Uh, I would like to uh, talk about that. I thought that was funny. <laughs> where he was trying to, he pretty much pulled the deleted scene from Terminator Two, where uh, where John Connor was teaching Arnold how to smile. <laughs> That was that was his Arnold smiling scene was him trying to laugh. I mean, look, yo, I, I oh. guarantee that kid that heard this shit has nightmares to this day. <laughs> oh my god, son, that is a creepy laugh, man. I mean, it's, Very it, yo, yo, which is creepier, that laugh or the Iori laugh from KOF? Oh, uh, see, first of all, the Iori laugh is legendary. 
is legendary, so, but you gotta admit, I mean, between that, but I think the only reason why I say creepy is because fucking shout out to Matthew Botchamania when he used that for the broken table. It's fucking hilarious and creepy at the same time. So uh, no, 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 no. You wonder know what's creepy? Imagine hearing the laugh that Shredder does in the uh, in Turtles in Time, but it keeps on going. Huh, huh. Oh, oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> mm. I mean, look, I, I take that over the Terminator 2 uh, uh, deleted scene of Arnold trying to laugh and turn oh, to smile. That is funny to me. That shit's <laughs> hilarious. I'm mad they didn't keep it in the movie. I know they didn't have time, but hey, I'm just this saying. Is, this is why YouTube exists. Thank God. Not even No, no, it's not even YouTube. This is why you get the director's cut. Oh, I know, but you know, some people just don't want to buy it, so you got to show them the YouTube. It's, it's no, God. no, no, no. I do one better. This is why you guys get the four-hour VHS tape that has all the <laughs> features. Yeah, it has all the scenes. Time man. out for a second. Uh, My aunt was one of those people that was part of Columbia Picture, P- Columbia House, and actually had the double DVD of Terminator. Two with all the deleted scenes, blew right, my this, fucking mind as a kid. This is what you need to do. This is what this is what a black people did forever. They joined it, got their free non CDs, and never paid back and never came back to it. They should have never did that. I'm pretty oh, sure oh, Columbia. That's why Columbia House they went bankrupt for a minute. They're still going now, but it's like yo. We, we ain't stupid because Columbia House will dare try to like call you back in the day and like, hey, we're still trying to collect that money. Click. I'm not paying you. <laughs> <laughs> My you can hold, like, it, hold that click. <laughs> my aunt did like two or three times, man, because they say, oh, get this many for $10. And right after that, that's where they jack up the price on you. And my aunt, like, somehow finessed them niggas like three times to get a bunch of. <laughs> anybody, <laughs> it was like, anybody could finesse Columbia House before they finally got stalled the jig. It was like, all right, we're not going to get fucked over for the. How many times was that, Jim? A billion? All right. All right, I guess we lost a million dollars off this shit. So, um, yeah, we have to do that. Hey, um, hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Anderson, um, it seems that um, uh, the, the, the CEO of Jive Records said he's going to break our legs for giving out the whole LCD. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I have a the brand record label. <laughs> Very vibrant. It's 95. <laughs> Job records, holy shit! Right after, so right after the whole um um thing goes down, <laughs> and they find out where Solo is, all of a sudden William Sadler's dick gets big as hell. He's like, "Yes, <laughs> oh my god!" <laughs> so they like, so they pack everybody up and they have one tracker, and and for some reason that pisses off all that pisses off man. He's like, "I don't need him." Like, yeah, I said get him. Make sure he doesn't have one scratch on him when he comes back. And once again, it goes back to what Eric said, the little back and forth of we want him dead. No, no, no. He cost two billion dollars. We got to bring him back and all the rest of that. It's, it's weird. Either way, I'm just saying, if you lose two billion dollar, uh, two billion dollar project, I'm just saying the Pentagon is going to go right up your ass. You know? Honestly, <laughs> the hip- now, I mean, can, I, can we be real? You really think Bill Clinton is sitting there during the meetings like so we lost two billion on what? No, you got to think about it. So I'm doing a deficit, right? So I'm noticing there's a $2 billion dollar charge to this solo project. Now tell me what it is. Okay, sir, there's a cyborg. I like it. Keep it. <laughs> and bear in mind, this is Bill Clinton when he got reelected. So you know he was like, fuck it. Money. Let's go. Like, no. <laughs> like, no. I have a quick question no. for you. I got a quick question for you, though. How big is his dick? <laughs> uh, uh, well, Mr. Clinton, does it really matter? Like, Mr. Clinton, does it really matter? No, but the intern that's under this desk won't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Do not look under the desk. <laughs> Stares at Monica Lewinsky. Um. Like, no, no, you know what makes Bill Clinton so badass? Bill Clinton probably <laughs> did get a blowjob in the middle of a meeting, and he lost the nut and was straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nigga, Colin Powell was just sitting there like, I can't believe this motherfucker's president. God damn it. He now, got, now, he, now, now, you wonder what really makes it even better? It's the fact that Family Guy did a joke about Clinton. One of the very first episodes of Family Guy where they're having a board meeting and Clinton is sitting in his chair butt-ass naked. This is like one of the most serious and intense meetings ever. This dude is sitting there butt ass naked. Yeah, it was when Peter made his house his own, like its own country, and 
they were talking about. Well, apparently we have this. Like, we have this one random country in the middle of Rhode Island called Pretoria. Here's like here's Clinton. What are our options? <laughs> just <laughs> ass nigga. Just butt ass nigga in the chair talking about what are our options? I mean, he said, well, we can, he said, well, we need to be diplomatic, or like, or we can do what we usually do and just bomb the hell out of that place. Good work, gentlemen. I mean, now that now you know now you know for a fact. Compare that to now, like Mr. Trump, we have this country. All right, first off, first off, first off, first off, where's my Batman cup? And why is Fox <laughs> not on? <laughs> and where's my wall? I want my wall. Where's the wall? Where's the wall? Where's the wall? Because I can build it myself. I build walls all the time. Look at that, sir. That's a Lego wall, and it's sturdy. <laughs> it's sturdy. <laughs> We don't even need the military. We don't need Solo. We don't need a black man. We got the wall. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> how could they piss off Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> if they had a cyborg, and it was a black cyborg. <laughs> Yo. Some off. If that... <laughs> no, 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 no. To take, a, take a page from Robot Chicken to 6 million pesos, man. <laughs> Trump will lose his goddamn mind. Oh man, that, I love that. I love that. Six million pesos, man. We need you to. He just jumps over the border and runs. That's the last time. He's and I love my boy. That's the. He's like that's the. That's two hundred and forty-five dollars. We're never going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so mean. That is so. Mean. It's so mean, but it's done in such a way. You're like, can you really be offended? Probably not. It's like. No. Oh no no! Because I looked it up, it was actually like two hundred or something. Now it was like two thousand dollars. <laughs> that was meaning. But I'm mad that that six million dollar peso man had super speed. I'm so bad at that actually. Complete with the. Yo, how much would that piss? But anyway, anyway, so dude, I'm mad Solo didn't have that just for cheesy purposes in this movie. Just. Just yeah, anything. You know that shit was on the table. You know they thought about it. They're like, should we though? Should, should we get the we black know? man speed? Because they're already fast, and we already gave him a teenage dick. I don't know why, doctor. <laughs> He's looking at Adrian the whole time. He's like, well, I mean, I'm just saying. Adrian. Look, I can imagine Adrian sitting there with a cigarette in his mouth. Look, you guys asked for it. I just got drunk and made it. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, like meanwhile, Adrian's making that damn rebate face. <laughs> Yo, so the no, face where, I'm talking about the face uh, and the face I'm talking about the one where he's getting questioned and he's like, mm, I don't know, hey, it's up to you. <laughs> but, but, I mean, if we're asking this right, that tender moment between Adrian and Solo, it was like, okay, I mean, I get it, but I'm, I'm gonna get, there, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. Right, I got right, it. Right, sorry, sorry, all right. So anyway, they go out and look. All right, so they go out to the jungle, right? Now, when they get out to the jungle, the the tracker I talked about. He serves his his shit real quick because all he says is like Solo was here. Like duh, everybody like there's a whole bunch of dead rebels. Of course he was here. So the very next scene, uh, they have a transmission that comes in from them. He said we had, like you, all you see is like the background is like in flames and all that. He's like, go ahead, tell him what you saw. Oh yeah, Americano, yeah, y Negro, you know. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it was, I was like, yo. They was, they, so they basically set it up the same solo. Basically, with, AD basically speaks enforced racism. I know, right? Look, he like, and so so he said he went rogue, and that's when uh, your boy Barry said, "All right, go out there and get get solo, and if he goes rogue, kill him." Like, okay, Actually, so, no, why no, he said, no, D. What he said was even more confusing. Get him back by any means necessary. I repeat, <laughs> by any means necessary, bring him back here. What the fuck is that? Like, they're going to fuck it. He's just going to say, hey, all right, Solo, put your hands behind your back. We're going to cuff you. Exactly. Now, now, you know what I, now, now, did you like how, did you like how when he, uh, when he did that, like when, uh, when Sadler set that up, Sadler pulled, he summoned his inner, he ran up them damn stairs <laughs> on the colonel. Yo. This oh this that was I mean, that was a very elaborate juke that he just pulled on him. Yo, the best part about it was it's like, all right, that's enough of that. And the Spanish dude was like, okay, so what they do now? And they just shot my nigga in the head. And do you see the dead body of the tra- of the of the tracker? Here's me. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so <laughs> tracker. <laughs> so the question, so the thing was this. So Adrian Brody gets out there. 
And when he gets out there, they immediately find where Arm Solo is. And Sadler is like, all right, we're going to draw him out. And the best way, and the best way they draw him out is they beat the living shit out of Adrian Brody. Why? Because they could. <laughs> Cause they could, and like you said, they like 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 you said, Chris. They had their tender moment, which was a weird tender moment because it's like Adrian Brody finally did something that nobody else in this movie decided to do. Act. Hey, you know, it was the prelude to what we're gonna it's, see. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's let's see how it plays out for him. You know, you know, doing the little. I I tried. <laughs> two, days, two days to retirement. Ugh. And he gave him, he, but he also gave Solo, hey, a new uh, power bank, though. So it was like, hey, you use this. You're going to be all right, man. I, I created you because I, I don't know, like, I loved you or some bullshit. I got to be well, honest I mean, with I you. mean, but it makes sense. I mean, jokes aside, it made sense because you remember early in the movie when Solo, quote unquote, they thought he died. He was happy, like, well, hey, Solo got his freedom. Yeah, but that's what he. Yeah, you actually right. That's all he wanted. But at the same time, it's like no. Well, his way, his way of saying you got your freedom is you're the only one who can stop him. Oh, <laughs> because I like how he just died. Just ugh. <laughs> because prior, because prior to that, prior to that moment, uh, Brody was inside. Like Brody tried to you know swipe his car to get back inside of his lab. Knowing that his car's been revoked, he's looking around like, hey, yo, this is some bullshit. Who the fuck are these guys in the hazmat suits and shit, like, walking around my damn office? Like, what's going on here? And <laughs> and we see a body being uh, being brought in under a sheet. Colonel, of course, has some, uh, has some back alley deals going on and decided, hey, you know what? This was my ace in the hole just in case, uh, just in case both of these motherfuckers went wrong. My thing is this, um, so you spent another $2 billion on uh, Robo Sattler? Uh, oh, yes, he did. So the Robo Sattler, the Robo Sattler, which is great because the, because the, the, uh, the, the commandos that are going after Solo, they get a fucking wash. They just get, that's the best Sat- way I can. Sattler, right. even Sattler, even, even, even Madden got fucking banged by Solo, broke his fucking back. Oh, I mean, this is why. This is this is why when I saw when I saw Robo Sandler show up, I laughed so hard because I said, "Yo, it looked like it looked like fucking Albert Wesker had sex with RoboCop two, and this was their love child." Dude, if Solo is if Solo is Windows ninety five, Robo Sandler is Windows XP. Yo, yo, when I saw Robo Sandler walking in, here's me. Oh, great! He comes a T four hundred coming at me. <laughs> Gun on the side. Look, I but again, I probably I was probably with Prime when we saw that shit as a kid. Like, holy shit, got a gun. This is awesome. Now as a grown up, here's me. Wait, 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 wait. So what is that thing connected to? What's the power source to that thing? And, the, and here, you know, here we thought it was just, inherent that, racism. No, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Prime. Power by it's racism. Power by is inherent racism. Can we also say that? Uh, but the first time I saw it, I really thought that that was like his legitimate arm. Like I really thought instead of giving him a regular arm, they just get they just turned his arm into a weapon. But come to find out, once he ran out of bullets, uh, he just drops it, so he's got a regular arm. I was like, oh come on, no wonder it looks so damn cheap looking. I mean, that Dude, was, it was not any sense. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, first of all, he's over here. He's over here trying to fire shots like at uh like which like dude. He went from wasting the rebels and trying to kill off uh, like the rest of the um, what is it? Like, he tried to kill off like the villagers, and he's doing all this shit just just burning through thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment in those damn uh, rocket rounds. Finally, he makes his way over towards humanoid Tigertron. It's <laughs> just Tigertron. No, no, he's right, man. Also, 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 Prime was right. Beachcomber. That's Beachcomber. He's, he's actually right. <laughs> yo, yo, he looked. At, now I love how he looked at the real Sadler. He's looking at him dead in the face, and he says to him, "Hmm, he says, you are gravely injured. Do you think you will be able to survive?" <laughs> the fucking difference doesn't make. Wrong. Pulls him up. No, he pulls him up, and he goes, "You know what? You're right." Next snap. I mean, I mean, no, no, no. The best part, the best part, we got to skip this, is when Sattler shot the, the the leader of the rebels, right? He said, first rule when you dance with the devil, don't, and shot him, right? So, 
<laughs> when Robo Sadler snaps from William Sadler's neck, you go back to the you go back to Barry Corbin. He's over there. Hmm, first rule when you dance with the devil. All of a sudden, like, what do you say, sir? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> here's me. Here's me. Who did you do that for? <laughs> yeah, who, who did that for? Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Go back to what Eric said. Did you just spend another two billion? <laughs> I mean, because it's like, yo, really? no. like, what would have happened if, say, they did manage to, to get Solo back? How do you? How does? How does Madden come back and explain the fact that there's a robot version of himself around base? So my question was like, well, there's like, was there a plan to go? Okay, so this robot body shit, dig that? Can I Shaggy Man myself a robot body? I know, right? Right. Can Who I, made I, can that? I, can I get that? Yeah, and who made that one? Did Brody made that that one, or was that like another R and D project that that the army had going oh, on? Oh, that, that was so that was so that was so an R that was so an army R and D project because Brody had nothing to do with that one. He had nothing to do with that. He had nothing to do with it because when he saw it when it was in there, he just gave, he had that. I mean, he looked at the colonel like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" I know, right? I mean, I mean, let's be real about this. That's a typical. Well, of these take out that robot. We're gonna take out that robo nigger. I mean, we saw. I mean, look, we seen this same shit happen before in other movies. He looked at. Him, I mean, he looked at the colonel and just said, "Oh, so you went straight over to Isaac Hammer going over my head, right?" Basically, I mean, damn right I did. He went I, over to Hammer Industries. <laughs> Me, like, why you got Tony? Like, why you got fucking Tony Stark over here with the perfect robot with a conscience? You want to go over to Hammer? Okay, I hope that. Like, I hope that shit falls apart. Well, look here, man. Notron gets his ass kicked by motherfucking Solo, too. I don't know how that happened. But the best part about it is, even when he gets the upper hand on him, right? So it looks all bleak for Solo. Solo's all doing the malfunctioning thing and all that shit. shit. And then the greatest line happens. He walks right up to Solo. And Solo, psych! Psych! (laughs) <laughs> Foreshadowing because you remember in the helicopter where he was like, ah, Solo doesn't know how to bluff. Yeah. It wasn't I, even just no, it wasn't just he didn't know how to bluff. How about no, what he saw earlier, he saw two he saw the boy that he saved earlier from the rattlesnake. Uh he saw him playing with his little brother, and he said, But he was hurt. How did he just get up and, and, and move with no injury? Oh, it's because he was bluffing. Omigo, that's what we call the bluff. But it's lying. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Bigger man. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Shut up, CJ. Shut up. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You what? Is... Just... Dude, you did not just pull the. <laughs> oh, God. You did not just pull that line from Scarface out of your ass. Yeah, I, I know you did not. Just... <laughs> yeah, man. For no reason. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you, <laughs> Chris. You can't be just yelling out random Spanish words. That you know what that was right there. That was. CJ Spanish version of Lana Mercy, just like you. <laughs> I mean, look, look. I, I mean, hey, look. I'm actually in the '90s when the '90s just felt they had to put some sort of Spanish in the movie to really kind of like say it's in it's in Mexico and shit. So you know. All right, time for real quick for the. Uh, these are the random things that I yelled out during the whole fight scene with the with the rebels slash commandos. Every time I saw Mario Van Peoples, Mario Van Punch, Mario Van Kick, Mario Van Flip. <laughs> Mario Van Bluff, Mario Van, Mario Van Dodge, Mario Van Jump, Mario Van Stuntman does the flip. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of did, did you guys, no, hold on, did you guys like when Human Saddler was firing that, yeah, when he was shooting that Solo with, the, with that rocket launcher, and fucking Solo was running, running in one shot, running through another shot, jumping in another shot, fucking back. Flipping for no reason in another shot. That flipping one had me dying because that was clearly not Mario Van Peebles. And it was awesome. Oh, yeah, thank you for that. Mario Van Jump Cut. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, but if you look at the fight as a whole, just like you said, the fact that he was like, psych, and I'm like, because you know, you, that, see, cause you see he's a robot, you see, and you know, he, he jokes. That, and Mexican Sally Richardson was all like, no! I'm glad you called her Mexican Sally Richardson. That's the first girl that popped in my head. Like, yo, look, Mario, I understand that Sally, you know, she was banging in in, in motherfucking posse, and you was mad they couldn't put her in this movie, but let's just be honest with you. She looks older, and on top of that, 
she kind of look. She don't look Spanish, man. We can't really do nothing with that. Y'all could do something, man. Give me a girl to look like her. <laughs> Get her Mexican counterpart. <laughs> Get her Mexican counterpart. <laughs> you know what? You know what? And I was thinking to myself the whole time. When, well, all of that with the shit. If I was a if I was a general, here's me. Ah, uh, the Pentagon's gonna go. <laughs> the Pentagon's gonna be my four head. billion dollars down the goddamn I mean, drain. I mean, did you did you, did you, like, did, you, did you like how did you like how the Colonel got the fuck out of Dodge? Yep. Right after right after Solo delivered the second or the second greatest uh, line ever in the movie. Delete this. Yeah. Yo, yo, you got you know he had to be sitting there like. You lo- just like Ashy Larry. All I had to do was get the robot. We ain't got to do no guns. So all I had to do. Was- God damn it! <laughs> now here's the thing, and this goes to what Prime was saying you know, about the cold, cold power mall. He's gonna get a cold, cold power call that nigga in an hour. Like, what the no, fuck? No, did no, 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 no. But if we're going based off of Vice D, we just saw that movie. Great movie. You, you, you know our boy, fucking uh, what's his face? Um, um. God damn it! Now I forgot his goddamn name. Uh, uh, Bush is vice president. Cheney, you know Cheney is just looking at Colin oh. Powell like, "Come on, man, we can write that shit off, man. American people can pay for that shit." What are you talking about? <laughs> That's fucked up. First off, you know they ain't that during the time, man. Even though this movie could have took place in like 2017, they didn't even say it. <laughs> they didn't even specify. You know what happened? That solo shirt dated the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to tell me if he just had a plain white t-shirt, it'd be like, oh, maybe 2009? <laughs> If it was a plain white T-shirt, we even if it was a plain white T-shirt, we like, oh man, it was 2010 in that movie. We would believe it. Or the, 19, believe the 1996 it. version of 2010, you know. Of course, of course, of course, because it was like when like Eris will notice when we were watching all of Child's Play and Child's Play three just slapped us all in the face and said that was like what the year 1999, when it was clearly 91. <laughs> no. I don't even think it said 91. I think it said it was 95. And... I think it was 95, but the movie was like made in 91 or 92. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got to be honest with you. I love the fact that we have gotten so much better in movies nowadays to where we don't get ridiculously outlandish of what the future is. I, 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 don't, I appreciate that a little seen bit. Amnesi- I don't know. Have you seen Amnesium? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, look. I mean, after watching, you know, after watching, was it a was it a black um, ah uh, shit. Black Butler. I'm sorry. What the black Butler? No, not black Butler. <laughs> but the um, the other shit, the fucking uh, shit there. The, the, the one with the dude fucked the pig. Um. Oh, oh Deliverance. Black Mirror. Black Mirror yeah, first Black off. Mirror. Yeah, Black Mirror. Oh, yeah. Black. Yeah, Black Mirror. Yeah, ever seen Black Mirror? And they keep positing weird futures like oh man you gotta get on a cycle in order to get media social media points and i'm like mm. no now, now, now even though it's weird that's happening in china that is happening in china but the 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 the, the one i'm i'm waiting for i gotta be honest with you i'm i'm with everybody's favorite episode oh was that saint ju uh, uh saint uh was a saint jupiter whatever that thing was called yeah, yeah. that episode yeah i want it before i die yeah Put that plug in my head so I can be in some paradise. It's a paradise for every day. It's like, please, please do that. <laughs> because every look, because you know what's going to happen? <laughs> Why the fuck Chris is like going to some other club dressed as, I don't know, whatever version of Chris, like 1970s Chris, because he's on the 70s tip. And all of a sudden, here come me and, Eric, here come me and Eris in dominatrix suits. Like, what are y'all doing? Look, nigga, don't you knock. <laughs> <laughs> don't you Son knock bitch. Don't dare knock don't you dare knock all of a sudden all of a sudden though uh, here comes prime in the same mexican pat labor <laughs> it's like what's prime doing here he's in the pat labor suit that's what he wants yeah, he's all right. suit. They got, look, look, here's, hey nigga what happened to the police not suits man look the prime body it is man turn it right fucks <laughs> 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 You only want this shit. No, but like Prime said at the end of this movie, Solo apparently somehow survives the fucking cave, you know, collapsing and shit. And he's hey, doing... Yeah. Bull crap. And Bull he somehow crap. is doing the laugh that, again, I would be fucking... I'd be sleeping with one eye open now because that goddamn laugh. Oh, you know that thing went on for like 18 days until the battery finally died off. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. You hear that just constantly... 
Like, yo, man. Everybody turns to the Chris Farley. Can you please turn it off and shut up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's like, no, you know somebody sitting there. This is the end of days. Diablo. <laughs> oh, the predator. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like the character in Devil. It's like my mama. She put toast and threw it all now. <laughs> That is what it, oh my god that movie go fuck itself that's solo now now here's the thing it's weird now i told uh, we were talking again this is something else we were talking about online about like when solo came out the 90s was a thing where it's just there was so many movies and solo got buried under a lot of movies around this time it got buried under independence day a time to kill 10 cup well, you were done you were done you were done <laughs> Independence Day. Independence, Independence Day and a time to kill. You're fucking done. Dude, Independence, Independence Day whooped its ass on its fifth week. Exactly. Wow, fifth week. <laughs> but yeah, still, Independence Day was a freaking mega blockbuster. Yeah, Arguably, and I think we said it last year when we did it, it's arguably one of the biggest blockbusters that happened in the 90s. I mean, like, period. It made bank like no other, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't be um, surprised in this fifth week Solo got swallowed up by that thing, But man. to its credit, it beat out Escape from L.A., so, you know, there's that. Um, well, let's just be real. People that like Escape from L.A. don't like Escape from L.A. <laughs> they just don't love themselves. That's what that is. I don't know, man. Escape from L.A. wasn't all that great. It, it really it's isn't. Not- Remember, at least what I remember. I remember they, I remember the the the, the uh, subway scene, and I said, "Them subways are way too clean to be L.A." <laughs> I just, I just remember when they made fucking Pam Greer a trans person in that movie. They did and, do that. I'm sorry, and no, 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 no. I ain't knocking it. I was just remembering that was a thing, and I remember some people were feeling some sort of way. I'm like, I don't see the problem. It's just Pam Greer. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> No, no, it ain't that. It's like, um, and, and I'm still a fucker. Exactly, exactly. It's like, I don't care if she has a deep voice. Damn. No, 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 just like this. Damn, Pam, that's a big dick. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Close my eyes and we're all good. Look, look hold on, hold on. Chris, look, Chris, Chris, let's just be real. Let's just be real. And this is what I say to a lot of people that always hit that little thing about um, uh, trans people. See, it's all good. You talk about all that. And then they get you in a room and say, bend over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bend over and touch your toes. It's like, whoa. It's like, all right, Pam. Yeah, yeah, you look good, man. i never been with a trick. Like, yeah, i never been with a, uh, never had man John before. And you ain't going to have it. Oh, my God, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what, dude? You're right. In, you're, you're right. <laughs> you're right in the fact that I would be mad because you remember early in Always Sunny, he fucked around with homegirl that was that was trans and was like pre-op and shit, and he was feeling some sort of way. <laughs> he was feeling some sort of way, and then was like regretting the fact that he didn't stick around after she got the fucking tr- surgery and stuff. Like, oh, that was so anyway, 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 that's not bad. But, but yeah, but yeah, but that's but that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's so. But that's solo. Uh, Prime, do you have any final thoughts on this movie? And is he there? Is he there? Is he there? I don't think he is. Damn it. Well, Prime! Prime! Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you. Oh, there he oh, goes. There he is. There he is. Oh, fuck. What a bitch. All right. See you, button. <laughs> final thoughts on uh, uh, so long? <laughs> um, <laughs> Like, nigga, I ain't got well, this is the, the, the movie is this fuck right. We not we're not arguing that. We're not denying what it, it is. What it is, um, pure early '90s schlock. And you know, I think schlock is seen as like a four letter word now. You know, going in, it's it's not high art. If you just want like a movie with Marvin people snagging people's necks with no sound, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, we didn't even talk about that, did we? It was like no sound, no sound effects. I'm like, what? Huh. <laughs> That's my question. Watch the video with somebody with the positive. They were like, "Was this movie filmed as an R movie?" But then they decided to cut it to PG thirteen to like the halfway mark. Made a couple of questionable cuts and changes. And like I thought about that, and I, when I went back and looked at the movie, I went, "You know what? I can see that. I, I can see that." But did they have titties in this movie because of the card? Maybe only because only because of the card. Yeah, if, you expect, the card. if you were expect if you were if you were expected to see PG thirteen was different back then. Yeah, like you can get away with some shit like um 
First of all, if you were expecting to see a uh, homegirl who wanted the who wanted that uh, that solo D, um, you know, if you're expecting to see her strip or something, nah. Nah. No, no I wasn't expecting that. I gotta be honest with you. I thought she was like fourteen. So I didn't even I didn't even think about it. I mean Did you like how no wait, did you like how again this movie tries to channel its inner Rambo by having her give him the uh like, by having her give him the red bandana? <sighs> Which he put on his arm. Well, I mean, it was on his head. Uh, he put it on his head just like uh, just like Stallone, and then he put it on his arm. Then he used it to clean off Brody's face when he was trying to figure out a way to bury him. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. At some point, at some point, if you look at everything as we're talking about robot movies of the '90s and stuff, it just this this movie also kind of reminded me of. Uh, you remember that Gregory Hines movie, Eve of Destruction? I, yeah. I never- yeah. Oh, you Bailey. never seen? It? Yeah, you never seen that? Yeah, Gregory Hines had to fight against a white woman robot. It was it was it was very strange. I, I also I also want to say for the uh, like also for the you know for other record here, um, shout outs to uh, Adrian Brody carrying off that uh, like carrying that death scene solo. <sighs> yeah, famous last words solo. <laughs> <laughs> It is, ama- I, it is amazing. I, yeah. <laughs> it is amazing too that this movie never hit DVD. What? It, re- it never. Yeah, you're right. It never hit. It DVD. never hit DVD. I was looking online to see if maybe Amazon Prime might have had it. You know, streaming. Nope. That's evil. <laughs> That's evil. I mean, I, hey, look. Hey, look. I, I would thought we would have got some sort of Warner Archives kind of shit with it, but. Well, say hold the fuck up. Cool cat says. The kids is on DVD, bro. Hold oh, on. Oh, 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 no, no, no. See, here's the thing, bro. It's on DVD, but you're paying thirty nine ninety nine for it, and I ain't paying thirty nine ninety nine for this goddamn movie. Oh, oh that thing eat my ass. That's a one five dollar DVD. If I ever saw one, you got me fucked up. Hold I'm on. sorry. You said five dollars. Five dollars, <laughs> nigga. That should be, like, nigga. That should be the uh, <laughs> that should be the freebie they give you an Amazon of uh, an Amazon Prime video. Now, if you want to rent it on Amazon Prime, well, hey, you, you, you pay three ninety nine for it to rent. I'm sorry, that's still too high. Shit. That's still too fucking high for me, man. I don't like that, man. That's too pricey I mean, this, for my... This, this is the same place that's offering hate... st- this offering a steel and solo double pack for 50 bucks. Nah, I'm good. Uh, take that. Wait a minute. Hold on. For how much? Steel and 50. solo for $50. Okay. All right. A couple things. Um, Let's take that decimal and move it up. <laughs> <laughs> but here's, the, here's the kicker, though, guys. It's a double pack with both DVDs. But while Solo is still thirty nine ninety nine, still is still ten dollars, and I'm like, that's still too high. Man, look, and why, wait, first of all, why is still see? I mean, why is still being sold for ten dollars? Yeah, it's, it's, part of, it's, it's, it's part of the Warner Archives thing, so they only press it one thing at a time, I guess. So you mean to tell me I can get all four of the fucking um, Delta Force movies for like sixteen dollars? But yet, but yet. <laughs> You know what? Well, no, no. well, to tell you the truth, hold on. Actually, guys, come on. This, you know, this is what we do. I mean, this is our, uh, you know, this is our side hustle. Uh, CJ, I think we know who. I think we know what project we need to uh, approach um, Shell Factory with, or Discotech Media, one of the two. Yeah, or Discotech. Yeah, I, I think. But Discotech don't. But Discotech never comes to Comic Con. Yeah, they only come to Oticon and stuff. So you're right. Yeah, yeah, Shell Factory. That could work. So you know, because you know, again, Shout Factory does redo stuff. So I mean, unless Mario Van people's like, it's the 16th anniversary of Solo. You know, hey, shit. Like, give us like, like, give us like one hell of a of a collector set. Like, give us Escape from New York, They Live, and Solo. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Solo just seems so out of place. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Next to Roddy Piper. And- and Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell is like, huh? It's like, I can see it right now. Russell, Piper, Peoples. I mean, look. And look, and, and, look, and then you look at the all. Uh, then you look at the DV on the side of the DVD cover. You see uh, the back of it, and you see John Carpenter. I had nothing to do with one of these. <laughs> now you know what he. Now you know what makes it better because it's Shout Factory. They get all new freaking cover art for the movies. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. So, all of a sudden, you see a picture of Mario, and people's like that. That's clearly that solo. 
Yeah. Yeah. Say, hell no. I want that, that fucking Sandy they had with him doing that jump kick. You know what I'm talking Man. about? The one that had a blockbuster. <laughs> that jump kick was amazing, wasn't it? That was on the v- apparently that was on like the VHS cover and shit. I was like, what? Uh, uh, it's it's only you know it's, it's it's only little things like that 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 people today would never appreciate you know it's kind of like when you go pick up uh, Jet Li's movies from Walmart and you find that copy of wa- of a fucking meltdown and it's clearly Van Damme's body with his head on it. I'm just saying I'm I'm surprised TV One didn't do a Marvel Mario Van Pe- Van Peoples action triple pack, the full eclipse solo and Judgment Day. You know, some shit like that or whatever. So, or yeah, how, I'm still or, waiting. Yeah, yeah. Or, look, or, or, look, or, I'm or still, if they want to get militant, they put Panther in it. Because, you know. I'm still. Him. Like, CJ, you surprised about that? I'm still waiting on. Uh... Uh, who was it? Like I, I'm still waiting on that that Don and Dragon Wilson uh, triple pack. Well, you gonna have to wait on that because you know they ain't making. It. <laughs> like, Give it, go ahead, like go ahead, throw in Cyber Tracker because you know that's gonna be in there. Yeah, but anyways, folks, um, that is it for Solo, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Peace. Peter's in. Oh, man.